Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. And today I am doing a quick review and demonstration of another free VST plugin from Audified Audio Research and Solutions. It is AmpLion, the free version, which is, uh, if you are a guitar player, then it's a perfect free VST plugin as a guitar amp simulator. And it's one of the best ones I have actually found. It's got lots of options, including mic placement. So you can actually adjust where you want to place the mic, the simulated mic, in your guitar amp simulator. I will demonstrate to you very shortly. But if you want to grab a free copy for yourself, you can head out to audified.com and search for under products amp lion Pro, and then you will actually see you can either demo the full pro version or you can click free version and you'll be able to download zero dollars into your cart and use it all for free. So it's a fantastic one. I do have it and I will show it to you. I also have to mention I have no affiliation with Audified, I don't get paid, I only have the free version from them. So uh, when I actually need to use it in the future, I'll definitely purchase one. But in the meantime, the free version is a fantastic to start with. So I just want to clear that out. As you all know, I don't do any um, sponsorship or anything. Whatever is free out there, I try to give it all to you guys. So you can try it out and see how it sounds, uh, especially when it's free. So lots of information there. You can actually read about it, but let's head out to our home studio. Yep, I thought what a great place to uh, try it out then in home studio. So two birds with one rock, basically. So this is a project that I had in uh, home studio, which is a free collaborative DAW. Uh, you can pay and then get the professional version, but this is the free version. And the song Ain't No Sunshine is there. And I had a couple of the guys who were happy to join in. Well, I had one uh, person to do vocals, another person to do guitars, live guitars on it. So I thought it would be fantastic and a great example for me to demonstrate to you the guitar effects, Amp Lion, the free version, on the guitar player. Let's just open up the mixer. So we're looking at this track here, the uh, the guitar. If you haven't uh, looked at Ohm Studio yet, you can go to ohmstudio.com and download your free copy as well, install it. It's a fantastic tool because you can collaborate with uh, lots of other musicians online. So you can record your own part, they can record their own part, and the next thing you know, you actually have a song. So it's really good. So let's try it out. So we have our guitar track. And on the guitar track, we basically have um, just the audio track and amp lion. Okay. So I'm just going to turn it off at the moment. So let's have a listen to the guitar, how it or the original one sounds. So that's the guitar. We just added a bit of reverb on there, and um, you know, that's about it. There's nothing else uh, on that guitar. It's one of the effects that the musician actually put on from his pedal. Fantastic playing. So it was really good. So then I added Amp Lion. I'm just going to turn it on 
before I actually show you what it looks like and see the difference that it actually made to the guitar. Let me turn it off. Turn it on. Okay, let's have a look what Amp Lion looks like. This is what the Amp Lion 3 looks like. The Pro obviously has a lot more options, but this is a fantastic amp. You know, it's one of the great ones I've seen. One of the good things about it is, see the, here, there's actually microphones, and you can adjust the distance, the position, and the angle of it. So, you know, it... it it, it, you can't actually go better than that. <laughs> it's like actually positioning a mic on the amp guitar. It's got lots of different positions for um, different effects, whether you want distortion, clean, and so on. Let's have a quick play. <laughs> It's a vintage. So you've got lots of options there as well. It's got some presets you can select um, and then you can save your own. So that, that's what it makes it uh, really, really, really interesting because you can move the microphone and the sound changes. Uh, let's have a listen. Obviously, with the microphone being moved, the closer to the center, you get more lower frequencies. The more outside, you get more brighter and the higher frequencies um, and the harmonics come in. And as well as same same with the position as well, uh, whether you want it to this edge or to the corner. And you can have two amps or, or two speakers, I should say, that you can... And you can have different positions for each speaker. That way you can have the lows as well as the highs and the effects. So it's got the amp there as well. So it's really great, really fantastic um, amp simulator from Audified.com. So, so that's what the track sounds like. Let's have a quick listen to the song from the beginning. And then I will show you a trick how I can control the guitar to come in and out with the vocal. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Cause there ain't no sunshine.
turned off. Turn that back on. Okay, so the next show, trick that I'm going to show you how the, the guitar actually coming in and out so that the vocal is always is more up to, the, to your face and standing out so the guitar is not overpowering and then sort of, uh, sort of ducking down. That, I did that by actually going into the modular and then I have the compressor. So... This is something new. If you have not seen this sort of uh, effects modular, then Ohm actually has it. So what what I'm actually done is this is my guitar. The guitar audio comes in, and then I've got my amp right there, as you can see, my Lion amp free, amp Lion free, and then that's going into the com a compressor. And then the compressor has sidechain enabled, so that Every time a vocal comes through, and that's my vocal track right there, every time the vocal is coming through, that feeds in. You can see, just, just sort of, see like that? So you can fit in from the, in parallel with the vocal, into the sidechain input of the compressor. So that every time the vocal comes on, the compressor comes on, compressing the guitar and lowering its volume automatically. So um, let's have a quick listen. Oops. Fucking fuck. Just watch here. It's not warm when she's away. Cause in a sunshine, she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime. So as you can see right there, every time the vocal comes on, it's compressing the guitar track, you know, minus 6 dB, giving it enough room for the vocal to stand out and the guitar to be ducked down. And then when the vocal stops, the guitar comes back on again and feels in between, and then it becomes really uniform. And then obviously the next thing, the next step for this to be is combine these two. Instead of going to your into your master output, is send it out to another track and then put another simple compressor in there, maybe 1.1, 1.2 ratio compression, so that the whole thing gets balanced out again, so it's nice and smooth, so the whole thing is balanced. So you can do that as well. So that's how I actually played around in getting a really nice vocal standing out and the guitar having really nice grit by using Amp Lion Free from Audified. So just go to Audified and download your free copy from there. If you have any questions, please do comment below. And if you want to know about Home Studio and this project, you can certainly join this, this project. Just search for Ain't No Sunshine and you can find it and you can join it and you can play around with your own and put your own bit in there as well, please feel free to comment below as well. I'm more than happy to help you out. It's a full-on song with drums, percussion, um, extra drums, the bass guitar, classic guitars, steel guitars, strings, the lead guitars. Of course, you can add your own vocals to it and maybe play the guitar to see um, who can play better or a different version of it. You know, certainly a different version of it. Hope uh, this video was helpful. If it was, then give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great time making music. I might see you at Home Studio.